Hello and welcome to another video on LabVIEW Advantage. In this video, we'll discuss about when to use object-oriented programming. This is the fourth and then the final series in the CLD Summit presentation on why and how to use object-oriented programming. Uh, in the previous videos, uh, we discussed about the concepts regarding what is the task-based approach, what is the object-oriented design, and what is the object-oriented programming. And we also saw the video in the last uh, demo uh, that by using object-oriented programming, you can simplify your application and you don't actually have to rewrite the entire code if you need to implement similar kind of functionality. Now we'll be comparing against the task-oriented and object-oriented programming. As we have discussed before, task-oriented is basically a step-by-step -step sequential process. It is going to be more problem-specific and the data is public. And finally, the modularity will completely depend upon on the other hand, uh, in object-oriented programming, we use classes that have different responsibilities. Uh, so each class has got its own specific functionality. The data is also private. That means other VIs outside the class cannot access it. And uh, these are highly modular by nature because each method is going to perform only one task. And uh, the modularity, modularity is also achieved by inheritance. Uh, the advantages of using object-oriented programming against the task-based approach is uh, you can easily add functionality or new feature into the application built with object-oriented programming. It is easier to maintain and reuse uh, owing to modularity and inheritance. It is also easier to debug each classes uh, because it has got different responsibilities. Uh, for example, in the task-based approach, it will completely depend upon how the developer has created or written a code. Uh, but it does not really mean that you can use object-oriented programming in each and every case. Uh, sometimes it can be counterintuitive as well. For example, uh, if you are developing the application, uh, and you are not involved to use LabVIEW frequently, you can ignore the object-oriented programming, uh, for example, the simple data acquisition system, uh, because object-oriented programming requires a lot of overhead and design part. Now we'll revisit the scenarios uh, we discussed on the first presentation or the first video. Uh, so now, like, uh, you don't actually have any problem because if the customer comes back to you and requests an application again after a few months, since your code is highly adaptable, uh, you can add functionalities and not only that the same customer but you can also support multiple different customers with very similar functionalities so by using the object oriented programming uh, you can make sure that the development time is going to be reduced significantly and then your code is going to be highly maintainable too finally the summary is Object-oriented programming can improve and enhance the developer experience. It will improve their reusability and maintainability, and it will also improve the longevity of application. So uh, whenever you are going to develop the application that has to be supported for maybe for a long duration or any mission critical application, then it is always recommended to use uh, object-oriented programming. And now finally, uh, we'll end with a quote. Uh, this is from W. Edward Deming, uh, American engineer and professor. He said, a bad system will beat a good person every time. Uh, in our context, it is going to be a badly written code is going to beat a good programmer every time. So it is always recommended that if your application is going to be supported for a long, long time, and maybe consider one year, two year, or five years, or if you are working in a development, multiple developer environment, it is always recommended to use object-oriented programming. Uh, finally, there are like uh, if you are interested to take object-oriented design and programming to the next level, you can take the ENI course, or uh, you can find the free online resource at the ENI forums. The links are provided in this 
slide. And that's it. Uh, I hope you like the introduction to the object-oriented programming, uh, the differences between the task-based approach, the object-oriented design and object-oriented programming, and finally, uh, when and how to use the object-oriented programming in LabVIEW. I hope in the future I'll be adding more videos regarding the object-oriented programming in LabVIEW. Uh, please like, share, and comment on this video, and please do not forget to subscribe this channel for future lab